Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I look like I've gone a bit blue, which is a little bit unnerving. <laughs> but, um, you know, what are you, you going to do? I'm slightly chilly, I guess. Um, <laughs> so how are you doing today? Yeah, good. I'm loving the sunshine. It's so much nicer today. Isn't it? It's like a proper lovely autumn day when we're not, you know, being miserable, which is lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Alison is here. Hello for the second time today. I know I'm just I'm everywhere today, but we're we're going to reduce that again. You loved yesterday's market; it was amazing, wasn't it? It's was so lovely to kick it off that way. But today we have got Sophie from Evergreen Coaching, and then we'll be followed by Rebecca at 140, 1340. I'm not. This is army time. Isn't my thing. So, Sophie. I'd love you to tell us about your business and what you do and your Christmas offering. But I'm going to encourage people to ask questions as well. So I'll probably, I won't butt in, but I'll wait for gaps. So tell us, Sophie, all about you and what you do. So thank you. I am a mindset coach. Um, I work with equestrians, so riders and also business owners in the equine and rural sector. So I started that because I was introduced to mindset myself and it really changed my life. And so I always knew I wanted to have my own business and I wanted to help other people. I just wasn't quite sure how to combine the two. Um, people suggested like being a teacher or a counselor or something like that and that just wasn't for me. Um, so I thought, you know, mindset's had a massive impact on my riding and also it's meant that I can start my own business in the middle of a pandemic. Um, so why not share that with everyone else, really? Um, so, yeah, I've worked with a few riders, a few business owners, and it's just been amazing to see the difference that it's made. And it's kind of made me think, actually, yeah, like it is worth me doing. You know, people do really get something from this. So, yeah, I'm loving it. Brilliant. So what um, quite a few people watching saying hello. Jane Brindley's here. She says hello. Um, and I think that is Emma. Sorry. Emma Halliday says hello as well. Um, I'm just going to say, please ask questions for Sophie below. So tell us about your Christmas offering, because haven't you just recently launched a new, I want to call it a toolkit. That's actually what it's called, isn't it? Yeah. So I have launched a winter toolkit, um, which actually is even more apt now that we've gone back into lockdown or we are going on Thursday. Um, I just kept hearing people always saying like, oh, winter's awful. I don't know how I'm going to get through another winter, especially with the restrictions that we've got with COVID. Um, and it just kind of got me thinking like, oh, maybe I should do some um, tips for winter. And then a lot of people were saying, I, I really want your support in terms of mindset and coaching, but not something as intense as like a one to one program. Is there anything else you do? So I thought, OK, let's combine all, all of that and do like a winter toolkit, which can help everyone kind of get through winter much more positively, feeling more motivated because that's something which just drops in winter is the motivation. Yeah. Um, and I just thought, like, if I can help give some advice and also provide like a community. Um, so I know that Emma's in it at the moment and it's just such a wonderful group of people that we've got. And they're all cheering on each other already. They've been in there two days and they're all, you know, like cheering each other on. And it's such a lovely place for them to learn, but also like create a great friendship group as well. So how does it work then? Is it like an online course with a, tell us, tell us how it works. Yep, so it's a Facebook group um, and basically there will be PDFs, workbooks um, and sort of pieces of paper stuff that you can print off, write on, scribble on, whatever you want to do. Um, but there'll also be monthly lives with me. So I'll do different topics each month, every month for five months. Um, you've got like access to me in terms of like saying oh I'm really stuck on this today you know help me with this and you can post in the group you can message me um so it's kind of like five months of coaching with me but without the price tag of like a one-to-one -one, um offering that I would do and obviously all of your lovely people in there as well so can people join at any time or do you have a specific sort of start date or how does that work so it's, the actual group is open from the 1st of November till the end of March. So it's just opened. 
you there will be times when it is open and when it's closed so it will be open only for the first two weeks of every month just so that people can get in and get settled and started before the monthly lives happen so it will be slightly restricted you know it's not just a kind of come in when you fancy so if it's something that you're interested in then I, I recommend getting in sort of before it all really kicks off and how much is that so we have a few people um KG says oh my god yes this sounds brilliant I hate winter and Emma said it's already so lovely and supportive and Kathy thought she'd missed today no this is a this is a 120 special because I was doing something else at 12 which I had booked it's 12 o'clock noon moving forward but today we're 120 so just checking that in there so sorry Sophie how much is it uh, to be part of the of the group so it's £97 and that's it for the whole five months. Um, so it's a one-off payment and you're in there for five months and you'll get, I mean, all of the stuff that goes in there, you know, the PDFs, the workbooks, the videos and all that kind of stuff, you can download. So you'll have it forever. It's just that the group is only open for that long. And will you then archive it so people can still access it, but they just can't post and things like that? Yeah, yeah exactly. Perfect. So it's there forever. Yeah. Um, so can you also tell us a bit about your one-to-one? So if you've got any riders watching, which I'm sure you either have well we definitely have sorry is it is it's doing its usual facebook user at me and i'm going who is this uh, heads i've got the phone let's keep looking um so if we've got some riders here or if obviously people watching on igtv or digital horse later yeah. what do you offer for riders because you said you did a lot of mindset coaching with riders which came from your own work on your own mindset for your own riding yeah so my kind of signature one-to-one -one program, I guess, is my four-week program, um, which is what I started off with when I started just uh, coaching riders. It works really well because it's one call a week for four weeks and then we have a follow-up call. So some riders use that, for example, to work up to an event. And then after the event, we'd have our follow-up call as a bit of a debrief and say what went well, what didn't go so well. So those one-to-ones are really structured you know you learn lots of different tools and techniques to work on whatever your challenge is so i've had riders who have suffered um like confidence crisis they maybe one person i've had who was terrified of getting back on her horse after a fall so it's really a range of people from not wanting to canter to eventing at the top level and like just getting so scared that they weren't getting the performances they wanted um so it's just yeah it's a, it's a really great program um for like over four weeks but what i've started doing more recently especially as i've been working with more business owners is doing more bespoke programs so doing them like over six months for example because i found that people are looking for longer term support now rather than like a really intense one so it kind of depends how you work you know whether you're someone who likes to get all of the information at once or whether it's more of a let's catch up once a month and see what's going well and what isn't going so well katie's asked a really good question she said i hope it's okay to ask katie it's okay to ask anything um which is i've done some work with a mind coach a few years ago what makes you different to others so i guess what are your usp sophie yeah um so i think personality is a big thing and i think that when you're working on something like mindset or hypnotherapy or counseling or whatever it might be you have to really get on with the person that you're working with and there will be people out there who don't get on with me but there'll be people who get on with me over someone else and that is totally fine with me because the whole thing about it is that you have to build a good relationship otherwise you just it won't work you won't take in what that person is saying the other part of it is that i've been in your position so i've been a rider my entire life and i've been through those confidence crisis i have been thinking people judge me so much i have been so terrified of getting back on a horse that i just thought i'd give up riding forever and i've i've experienced those feelings and i've got through them and i've learned about mindset and how that can help those things so i'm not coming from a place of like oh i think that will probably work for a rider i'm coming from this worked for me and it has worked for lots of other people too let me try and support you so i guess that's where i would be different to maybe someone else no really good answer katie does that answer your question i'm sure it i'm sure it does um brilliant okay so in addition so you would so if somebody was listening and they said actually they really do want help because they've um, let's say they've got a horse issue but they don't necessarily want a call a week but they would like a call a month or a call every couple of weeks that is obviously something that you could do and how would they go about doing that with you because it's not a standard program 
Yeah, so what I would ask is just to have a phone call with that person and find out what their challenges are, why maybe they think that they've got those challenges. You know, is, has there been a traumatic event that's happened? Um, and just have like a friendly chat and see what they're looking for. You know, are they looking for a call once a month? Are they looking for a call once a fortnight? Do they want help for the next year or do they just want help for until the new year? You know, just finding out what suits them and what they're looking for and also what I do and whether they feel like that would actually help them. Um, so we would just talk that through and then basically I go through it and propose something so I might propose like a, a three month program or a six month program and say this is what would happen does this suit you does this feel like what you were looking for and then we'd go from there so it's totally bespoke in terms of frequency of calls and length of program as well so it's kind of you know make it as as you need it really and have you got any I, I, I haven't prepared you for this, but I'm sure you're going to have something good to say. Um, have you got any tips for people at the moment? Obviously, going into it, lockdown 2.0. Yeah. Um, have you got any tips for people who are feeling really like annoyed, cross, down? Is there anything that you've been saying? Because I imagine you've had a quiz question asked a lot as well, <laughs> that you can give us kind of a tip bit for people to obviously actually show a little bit how you work, but also that could really make them have a positive um that's not even a phrase. Do something positive for themselves today. Yeah, okay, so I'm actually gonna write a post about this because I have been asked this a lot. Definitely. Um, I would say one of the really powerful things to do would be to write a list of everything positive that's happened to you, so, or that you can take from a, a bad situation. Because it's so easy to turn around and say, oh, today's been awful, this week's been awful, this next month of lockdown is gonna be awful. And you're basically like telling yourself it's going to be that bad and then it mm. is that bad um mm. so what i would say is really think about the positives i mean you could go to something like i didn't spill my coffee down me this morning it can it's be something, yeah it's a win <laughs> it's it a win. so small and the the like principle behind it is that you're retraining your brain. You're basically saying to your brain, stop thinking about all these negative things that are going on. Remember that positive stuff happens. And I can guarantee you that if you do this and you stick to it and you really, really think about the nitty gritty, you will have way more positives than you will have negatives. And it's so easy to do and so, so powerful. So that would be my one thing. No, I really like that. And that can just be a piece of paper or a brilliant excuse to buy a new notebook. Yeah. Um, any excuse to buy stationery I'm all in on that yeah. um, and just getting those things written down and I suppose even thinking about them as you go about your I mean I say about walking the dog because I seem to walk the dog a lot it seems although I don't really that much I walk every day but thinking about positive things when you're out and about taking in the things and you know I mean, as you say it's a beautiful day today the sun is shining the leaves are crispy it's not too muddy the flies aren't around there's actually a lot of little positive things isn't there as well as the bigger ones yeah exactly and i think like it's it's very hard very easy to see the negatives in a lockdown but people i've spoken to who you know we've obviously all been through the first lockdown and so many people came out the other side and said actually my business has taken off because i pivoted it or i actually took a look at my horses and thought what's really important you know without that pressure of competitions they've gone back and done loads of flat work or something or they've learned a new skill and so when you look back at it actually a lot of positive came out of it it was a chance for us all to just stop and reevaluate everything and that's a good thing so i think you have to try as hard as it might feel you have to try and find something positive in that situation and I think as well, obviously, I'd really be interested in your take on this too, but not feeling bad looking for the positives because it is, I think, a few people say to me, oh, but I feel bad that yeah. I'm okay, that I'm doing well and other people aren't. Yeah. But because we're suffering, it doesn't make anyone else's suffering less, does it? What's your kind of take on, on that? I think it's really important that you look at the positives. And I think sometimes we are almost feeling negative because of what everyone else says. And this is partly why I started my winter toolkit is because there's almost like this group culture thing of like winter's so bad. And then when you say to someone, why is winter so bad? They're like, oh, well, it's wet, it's cold. But yeah, does that really affect you though? Well, I suppose not, like I can put a coat on and I'll be all right. And it's almost like a group thing and you know, things like lockdown that comes out and everyone goes oh my god it's awful and so you jump on it like yeah oh it is awful 
when actually you think about the positives that you've got in your life you know i started my business from scratch in the last lockdown um well, not, hey? <laughs> and it's you know it's been fantastic and i have had points where i'm like god i feel really bad that i'm actually having a really good time you know I, i've loved being at home all the time i've loved having time to spend with my family without having to go out and see people so don't ever feel guilty for that you have to remember that you are on your journey not someone else's and you can still support someone whilst being positive in your own life as well no i think that's really really good um mo says great advice katie says i'm loving this chat um emma says yes definitely lockdown lockdown one gave me clarity i'm looking forward to lockdown 2.0 um, and being able to have more daylight time with the horses actually for a horsey person at the moment um you can draw that as a positive, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, even though it is, it, it clearly is a, very, it is a very challenging time. And however you're kind of approaching it, there are these challenges. But then I think that those, those tips that you've shared are amazing. Yeah. So if someone's interested in either doing one-to-one -one work with you or the toolkit, they can obviously just DM you. But can you tell us where they can find you online, your website and all that kind of information? Yeah, sure. So um, my website is evergreenmindsetcoaching.com. Um, I'm on Instagram and Facebook, uh, evergreencoaching underscore on Instagram and evergreenmindsetcoaching on Facebook. Um, I hang around on Instagram most, so if you send me a DM on Instagram, I'll probably pick that up um, or email or anything. And I, you know, I'd just be really happy to hear from you. Like, if you've taken something away from this, just that's positive. That's I love that and you know, if you talk to me about food or dogs or animals, <laughs> I love that as well. So yeah, it's always just nice to kind of connect with new people and see what you're getting up to as well. So yeah, just send me a message and let me know. Definitely. We have a few more minutes. If anyone's got any other questions, anything to do with your mindset or anything to do with um, what Sophie is offering in terms of the winter toolkit or the coaching or anything you want to ask her, now is your moment. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us, Sophie? I don't think so. I think just, you know, this is such a, a positive experience for everyone, really, to have this opportunity to share with each other. Because I think sometimes when you're an online business, you can feel like you're almost talking to a brick wall. <laughs> and you think, is anyone out there listening? You know, and you sometimes get these lovely messages and that just makes it also worth it. So I think when you have a community like you've built in Small and Supercharged and, you know, you've got these markets going on and people can support you, there have been so many things on Facebook and Instagram saying this year I'm going to buy from small businesses. And I think to have a platform to show everyone's stuff off is, is awesome. So thank you. Oh, well, it's honestly, it was, I was saying, um, I probably said yesterday, actually, that I, I woke up on Monday actually feeling quite anxious about this because I think because of the lockdown, it feels like it matters more than ever. Obviously, it's been planned for months. And I had this kind of worry about the tech failing. And then I laughed at myself because the tech always fails. <laughs> and it's been very well behaved. But again, it's kind of a, yeah, it's fine. I'll, you know, I'll make it work. Um, but it has been really lovely. And I think as well, the support of the people who are coming along. Obviously, it's amazing to have people like your good self. And I can see we've got Rebecca in the waiting room coming along and chatting and sharing these tips and tricks. But having the support of the lovely people who are watching in real time is brilliant. Yeah. Um, and obviously, I know a lot of people watch on the replay and on IGTV. But it, it means so much, whether or not you buy from the small businesses you see. Just having that support there and showing people like your good self that people really do care, that they are interested. It means so much, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And there's always there was that thing going around a few years ago. And I think it's recirculating now saying that when you buy from a small business, they do a happy dance. They literally do. Like when I have someone sign up with me, you know, I do dance around my house like, yes, a new person. And it it really does make all the difference um, to that person behind the brand. You know, it's not just a picture and a logo and a brand. There is a person behind it. So whether it's a nice comment or a negative one, like there is a person receiving that. So I just think it's so lovely to have this. No, I know what you mean. I, I know when people um, sign up with uh, particularly Mastermind or with Extra, um, it's great because I know I'm going to get to work with those people and I probably know them because we've been chatting on Instagram. And as you say, it it does make a real difference, yeah. um, which is lovely. Um, we've got a question from my phone hasn't updated yet. I'll read the question. I'll say who it's from. Here we go. Nicola Stewart. Um, how do you deal with essentially hearing everyone's problems and emotions without it affecting you? It's something I struggle with as a personal trainer. So I imagine it's threefold emotions at you. 
No, that's a really interesting one, actually. And it's so easy to say, well, just don't take it to heart or don't think about it, don't take it home. Um, I think you've just got to try and separate that from your life and say, you know, I can still be supportive to that person. I can still offer them advice, give them training and all that kind of thing, but it doesn't need to affect me. And so I guess it's just trying to think of it a bit more objectively and just seeing it as they are a separate person, their life is separate and your beliefs and your thoughts are different. So a lot of things we believe in adult life are because of what people told us as children. So we take on someone else's beliefs throughout our entire life and that forms how we feel today. So just try not to take that on as your own belief. And now that you're an adult, you can look at it objectively and say, okay, that's their belief, that's their thought, that's their problem. It's not mine. I'll help them with theirs. I'll deal with my own life separately. That's really good advice. I hope that's helped, Nicola. Well, I'm going to love you and leave you and let you carry on with your day and get uh, Rebecca on. But thank you so, so much for joining me today. It's been fab to find out more about what you do. And I definitely urge everyone to go and give you a follow and find out more about what you do. Just, just follow as a start. You know, follow as a start. Look at Sophie's amazing content. But obviously, if you want to find about the Winter Toolkit or one-to-one, -one, do reach out to her. You know the details. Um, please do that. Awesome. Thanks so much, Ria. I've loved it. No problem at all. Thank you so much for joining Bye. us. Bye. Right. Rebecca, are you ready? I'm here. <laughs> are, you are you okay? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. Are you are you feeling excited? <laughs> feeling nervous. <laughs> I've had six I've had strict instructions of what I can talk about, what I can't talk about. And I was like, oh no, I'm going to say something wrong. <laughs> You'll be fine. Don't you worry. Um, as always, well, I encourage people to pop their comments in the chat. Um, well, in the chat, in the comments um, as we go. I'm going to type a note about that now. But Rebecca, please do introduce yourself and your business to us. Okay, so my name is Rebecca Ellis, and I'm one of the faces behind Digital Horse, which is a global equestrian platform which has been designed by equestrians, for equestrians, for you guys to do anything and everything you want. You can shout out about your horse, you can shout out about your business, you can learn from other people, you can have the support of the community, you can literally do everything and anything on there. Amazing. Jane says hello, and I thought someone else did, but it's um, there is a time lag between my phone and StreamYard, so that's great. So tell us what makes Digital Horse different to, I know we're on Facebook, I don't think Mark's watching this, I'll be honest, if he is, yeah. hey Mark, we love you. <laughs> um, but tell us what makes Digital Horse different to any other social media platform out there. So from my opinion, um, what makes us different is the positivity. Um, we have designed Digital Horse very much that we are championing uh, riders, businesses, everything in between. And there is just this ethos, which we have personally and has transpired to everybody on Digital Horse, where you can have the support, you can, if you need help with something, if you need an answer to question, a question answered, sorry, um, if you want to learn more, if you just want to watch amazing horsey videos and see gorgeous photos, then you can have it all in one place without all the negativity. Um, but then at the same point in time, it allows businesses to connect, connect with riders and riders to connect with businesses without sort of everybody who does cycling or rowing or is wants to do beauty hacks. It's literally just question based, which is fantastic. <laughs> So why is it particularly good at the moment, let's say, obviously we're going into the lockdown, um, but why is it quite good at the moment, thinking like November, December, why is it a really good place to be? It just allows you for the escapism, I feel. Um, with everything on lockdown, there is a lot of doom and gloom, but like Toby just said, there are a lot of positivities as well that you can take from it. Um, and we feel that it just allows you that escapism from everybody having an opinion on Brexit, everyone doing one person doing one thing for lockdown, one person doing another, um, mm -hmm. and just allows you to sort of feel more centred and grounded, but allowing you to have your really good course of fix. And it's all free. There's no hidden charges. There's no one actively trying to sell your data or anything like that. We are very 
pro user and pro horse. So <laughs> it works quite well. Absolutely. And actually, Alison said it's a lovely place to be. Um, and Katie's also said hi. So obviously you've been told what you can and can't share with us. So let's <laughs> know what you can't share with us. No, no, no. <laughs> you're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> no. What you can share about us, because I know you've got some really exciting things coming up, haven't you? Yes, so we have a couple things. Um, one being that we have rebranded, which I'm so excited about because as much as I do love the digital horse head, it was it was originally three different heads put into one, so it's quite nice now to have a little bit more symmetry. Um, so we have rebranded, we have um, items and garments coming out, which is so exciting, with our new logo on, which I am wearing. I've got to get this right now that way. Um, so it's, it? it's so confusing. <laughs> I'm just in the wrong way. <laughs> um, so yeah, which I do have to show as well. Um, but yeah, so we have changed logo. We've made it a lot more plastic. We've made it a lot simpler. Um, and allowing users to sort of have the subtlety without it being. Oh, you see, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Shine. Yeah. Yes, metallic. Mm. This is thanks to the lovely Catherine from Team Equestrian, who has done the photo shirts, which are going out to our moderators and also myself, so I can wear things during conversations like this. Um, so, yeah, so we've got garments coming out, which is really exciting. I'm not allowed to spill what garments, but I know I'll be living in them personally, so <laughs> and I'm sure many of our amazing followers will too. Um, and the other is that we, every year for the last month, since 2018, um, we have set up a day called World Horse Appreciation Day, which is just basically digital horse in a nutshell, just allowing you to shout out about your horse, just sharing the hashtag. And it went viral last year, which was great. We had people like the FBI, Holland Cooper, and lots of big feed brands doing it, which is amazing. And this year we decided to do something a little different. So we teamed up with Imogen Moon from Luna Photography, who has supplied this year's photo, which is gorgeous and will be released on uh, Instagram and Digital Course very soon. And then also we teamed up with Amy from Muddy Mads and we are doing a horse mate slash sort of digital horse fundraising hoodie, which will be available to buy extremely soon. And she'll be showing it actually on her live when she's on the Christmas market, which I'm so excited about. Wait, I'm just going to have a look now to see when um, Amy's, oh, Amy is on. I think it's the 19th, so it might be the 15th, something like that. 16th. She's the 16th, according to my chart. Oh, bang on day then. <laughs> she's on World Horse Appreciation Day. <laughs> So that um, works very well. Um, so, yeah. And with the, um, I know obviously Amy will talk about this more, but with the hoodie, there's actually going to be a charitable donation as well, isn't there? Yeah, so the horse mate range, uh, Muddy Mads is part, has a sort of two parts sort of thing. And uh, the first part is Muddy Mads is a gorgeous welly boot. And then the other part is horse mates, which is a charity donated. It's sort of you have a portion of the cost goes to charity. Um, and because we support the RDA, it works in really well because obviously she supports the RDA with horse mates. And yeah, the donations basically will be going to the main RDA centre and they can distribute, which is super exciting. So how can people get involved in World Horse Appreciation? It is World Horse Appreciation Day. That's the actual hashtag, isn't it? Whole hashtag, yeah, it's enormous. But <laughs> yeah, so all you have to do basically is um, take a photo, take a video of you and your horse. The video would just be explaining why you appreciate your horse, why you love your horse. And with lockdown looming again, I think we're all running to our horses as frantically as we can to tell them. Um, and yeah, just to post that on social media using the hashtag, um, or you can just share the photo which has been kindly donated by uh, Luna Photography. And yeah, just shout out about your horse all day basically <laughs> so sorry people can get involved it's important we'll go over again so people get involved by taking it with their horse and posting it to uh, instagram and digital instagram, horse instagram facebook twitter everything linkedin we're going to try and do this year as well but i'm only just starting on linkedin so i'm finding it a little bit cryptic but i'm i'm getting there slowly but yeah so basically just take a photo or a video of you and your horse say why you appreciate and love your horse and just use the hashtag 
We will try and respond to most of them, but Instagram likes to block us when we come become active. So we will sort of respond sparingly. Um, but if you want a response from us personally, do it on digital boards because we can respond to everybody to our heart's content. And yeah, just shout out about why you love your horse. And at the moment, I know everyone is talking to their horses with lockdown. So definitely <laughs> i have people share to their stories as well to instagram stories they could obviously tag you and use the hashtag potentially couldn't they yes everything we can do that we can probably share pretty much most of them as well which we tried to last year and we kind of we got to sort of like 180 in the end so i'm gonna try to keep going um but yeah so just shout out about your horse and it could be you're a business you could do it as a rider you could do it as someone who just really loves horses you don't have to be part of it but you can just love horses so that's fine yeah I was going to say actually is it, it could be a really nice thing for other businesses to get involved in as well so how can they help you because it's, it's such a lovely message and obviously the fact that you're as well raising money for the RDA through uh, the lovely Amy from Muddy Mare's clothing um <laughs> How can businesses get involved? There's someone watching here that's like, actually, I'd really like to include that in my on my grid to talk to my followers and fans about it. How can they reach out to you? Well, we're planning a couple of different things. So um, what we were thinking is if we get enough businesses and riders involved, we would do a huge sort of social media post and push for it, and we would collect all of the photos and videos that people wanted us to do and just do an enormous video, um, allowing people to sort of shout out about themselves and why they love their horses. And then that can transpire as well to businesses. They were Everyone is allowed to do it. It's not, in, in, it's not excluding anybody at any point. So... Yeah, shout out about your horse. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't love, well, who doesn't want to do that, hey? <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about Digital Horse that might be useful? And obviously, if anyone's got any questions, now is a really good point to ask because one, we're both here, but more <laughs> importantly, um, it's a really good opportunity to ask because it is a fab platform. I know we've got lots of people and we're actually doing a Mastermind X Digital Horse gift guide, which is a beast other thing <laughs> um, I know it's four categories and I sent over category one that's Oscar prison I sent over the first category on um Friday and it was just I mean I want everything yeah for a start. Oh, I, I'm skint by the end of this month and this gift card in this right we've got for humans which will be out will this be out the next week or Two. This will be out possibly over the next week, uh, possibly, hopefully the weekend. I just need to get all the photos over at the moment. That's the, the don't thing. envy you. Just trying to make sure they match everything. <laughs> 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 them, okay. Um, but I think that's going to be a two parter, isn't it? Because it is, it is a bit. Oh, yeah. oh, um, <laughs> but there will also be a for horses one, and then there will be a <laughs> stocking filler, which will be under. I think it's fifteen pounds. Fifteen, but yeah. 15 isn't it? So yeah. So sort of more stocking filler money and then there'll be a last minute one if you've left it a bit late you're all right i've had someone say am i too late for the gift guide let me just check who you are um the last message on my phone is me swearing at ruth sorry ruth. <laughs> let's not repeat that <laughs> let's not repeat that word because I mean, to be fair i always expect a tech fail but it still annoys me when it happens um Oh, apparently I've got aeroplane mode on. This is going spectacularly well. Let me just see who that is. I assume, I mean, my guess is going to be it's Emma. But let me just, let's not guess. Uh, Emma, right. So you are too late for the For Human one because that's gone. But we have got stocking fillers and we have got last minute. So, and I haven't put them together yet. So if you would like to send me something this afternoon, tomorrow, like this afternoon, let's say this afternoon for, so stocking fillers under £15, and last minute is stuff that can be posted out, well, up to whatever your closing date is. But I think being posted out in December or it is kind of the last minute idea, isn't it? Yeah, and anything virtual as well, anything that's sort of a course or stuff that people can redeem at a late date sort of thing. So, And it's great for everybody watching because it means that if you are looking and trying to source local businesses and small businesses, that they will literally be there for you to do and to have a look at so you can browse to your heart's content and become as poor as me when you buy everything on there so there are some lovely things and I think it's it's such a lovely way of really um realizing the scope of the of the I mean you can do you know, 
obviously we can't go to shops for the next month or non-essential shops but there's so much you can do online you can support small businesses it does it won't cost you more you know because a lot of this a lot of the products that we've got are there's obviously a, a big price range um and also you can get that really smug organized feeling if you do it in november that you've got them in your house you can pack them up in your own time um and you know gift wrap most of the small businesses actually do a lot of gift wrapping services well so it allows you to be even more organized so. yeah actually i hadn't even thought of the gift wrap aspect but i know some people are doing that as well um which is amazing so yeah there's there's all sorts going on in there but um yeah i mean digital horse is just a great place to be anyway and it's a really as everyone said here it's a very positive supportive place and the engagement's also really good on digital horse which is some feedback i've had from quite a lot of people yeah. um genuine it's not sort of you're you're not going to get hundreds and thousands of likes but the quality of the likes and the engagement you get is something different that person is more likely to follow your journey more likely to buy from you more likely to engage in a more genuine way rather than trying to get something out of it um which i feel sometimes on social media is quite a problem um and yeah just it's more authentic in my opinion i know i'm biased i know i'm the owner but i'm getting this feedback from other people as well so it's not just me no i have also heard that and i'm not the owner i have heard <laughs> people um well, particularly the masterminds actually because we do often talk about digital halls with the various things that we've got going on like the blog series and stuff um that the engagement they get is really good and it i think we should definitely be looking more at the quality versus the quantity because we we can get you know, loads of spammy comments on our content that we put out and it's never going to convert to anything whether that's a sale or a friendship or someone we're interested in yeah. Whereas obviously with Digital Horse, the beauty is that the people that are using it are genuine, they're engaged in their connections rather than followers think the stupid follow and follow thing. <laughs> really good. So there's a lot of pluses and it's free to take part. It's free to be have an account on there. So tell us all the places where we can find you online and then I'll let you carry on with your day. <laughs> That's all right. I'm having quite a good time now. I've chilled out. Um, but yeah, so you can find us on you can find the website at digitalhorse.co.uk. Very simple. It's a worldwide website, even though it is .co.uk. And then it's Digital Horse UK on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining us okay. today. Obviously, if you've got any questions, do you just send um, Digital Horse UK a DM. It's probably the quickest way, would you say? Yeah, yeah easy, easiest way for us to get a hold of you. We, we do have an email service through the website, and also you can email us directly, but DMs are by far the quickest way of getting a hold of us if you want to respond. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you everyone hey. who has watched, you know, for sticking with us during the tech fail. That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> um thank you so much thank you for all your support during today tomorrow we're back at 12 with what day is it tomorrow wednesday okay. winning at life we have got um amanda from george and dollar at 12 and at 12 20 we have got sarah from equicoach online and there we are finishing tomorrow with jane badger from jane badger books so from now on it will be 12 o'clock today was just later because um I'd already booked something for 12, and I thought that 12 was a strong time to be doing this more regularly. Um, so today was just an anomaly, but thank you very much to yourself and Sophie for joining me in that. <laughs> no, that's fine. It was easier for me as well, so it went well. <laughs> that's a win then. That's a win. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for joining. And whether you watch live or on the replay, don't forget to you know, show these businesses a bit of support. As I said on any post I've done, it doesn't mean you have to buy from them, but follow them, a kind word, a, you know, saying something nice and just showing your support just means such a lot i think now more than ever so thanks so much i'm gonna love you and leave you take care everyone and we'll, we'll catch up tomorrow at 12. <laughs>